Hi, I'm Glenn Acosta, an engineer with the Sanitation Districts of Los Angeles County. I'm here to talk about the Clearwater Project, a project that begins construction early next year to protect our local waterways by addressing aging sewer infrastructure. Our mission is to protect public health and the environment through innovative and cost-effective management of wastewater, what some call sewage. The sanitation districts were formed in 1923 to remedy pollution of the ocean by sewage. Since implementing modern sanitation practices, life expectancy in LA County has significantly increased. Today, our main sewer system serves over 5 million people across 73 cities and includes seven wastewater treatment plants. The Joint Water Pollution Control Plant in Carson is our largest wastewater treatment plant. This plant is critical because it treats over two-thirds of the sewage in our system as well as all the solids removed from the other treatment plants. The joint plant depends upon two old tunnels to carry treated water to the ocean. These tunnels were built 60 and 80 years ago and have several concerns. First, the tunnels cannot be taken out of service because they must continuously carry flow. Second, the tunnels were not built to current seismic standards, yet they crossed two earthquake faults. Third, the tunnel's capacity could be exceeded during heavy storms when rainwater gets into the sewer system. In January of 2017, the tunnel's capacity was nearly exceeded during heavy storms. So what would happen if the existing tunnels were to collapse or if the tunnel's capacity were exceeded? The choices are not good. We'd have to release treated or partially treated water to Machado Lake, which could jeopardize the recent restoration efforts there. This water would then flow to the LA Harbor. Worst case scenario, to avoid flooding the treatment plant or having sewers back up all over town, untreated sewage may have to be released into the Dominguez Channel, which flows to the LA Harbor. This emergency situation could last for months or even years. Well, we're not gonna wait around for that to happen. Instead, under the Clearwater Project, we're gonna build a new tunnel, large enough to handle storm flows and designed to current seismic standards. The new tunnel will ensure reliability for a sewer system that five million people depend upon. The new tunnel will be 18 feet in diameter and run seven miles from the joint plant to Royal Palms Beach in San Pedro. Based on community input, the new tunnel will be built almost entirely under streets. Tunneling will start here at the south end of the joint plant. A state-of-the-art tunnel boring machine will be used. These machines, which are used around the world, build a tunnel as it digs. To get the machine to its starting depth, we will build an access shaft that is 80 feet deep. All soil from tunneling and all materials to build the tunnel will go through this access shaft. Along the tunnel alignment, we will have over a thousand monitoring points as an additional safeguard. Tunneling will end here at Royal Palms Beach in San Pedro. A shaft will be built to remove the front end of the tunnel boring machine and connect the new tunnel to the existing ocean outfalls. All construction work will occur during the day, Monday through Friday. No construction work will occur in the ocean and the beach will remain open to the public at all times. All told, the project will take seven years to construct, including four years of tunneling. In summary, all above ground construction will occur at two locations, here at the joint plant and at Royal Palms Beach. We're taking a number of steps to continue to be good neighbors during construction. To limit noise and visual impacts, we will install barriers at both locations. To protect air quality, we're requiring an electrically powered tunnel boring machine. We're also stepping up that commitment by requiring haul trucks and off-road equipment to have newer engines that are 80 to 90% cleaner than what we committed to in the project's environmental impact report. To limit traffic impacts, we have developed a short route to the freeway for trucks hauling dirt that does not pass by any homes and will only increase traffic by 1 to 3%. There are different ways to communicate with us. A Facebook page, a website, e-newsletters, a dedicated email, and a phone hotline. We will also host periodic construction update meetings. However, we can come to your group to discuss the Clearwater Project. By addressing aging critical infrastructure, the Clearwater Project will protect our local waterways and help ensure that 5 million people have a reliable sewer system.